In this lecture, I am going to explain how to construct regular grammar for a DFA. So, first, let me explain the steps. In DFA, there are five tuples. Suppose if machine M is DFA, it consists of five tuples Q, Sigma, Transition, Q0, and F. Whereas, grammar consists of four parts. Let the grammar be G. It consists of four parts V suffix N, that is set of non terminal, sigma set of terminal, P set of production rule, and start symbol. So, first step so DFA is given, we want to find this four parts from this DFA. So, we want to find V suffix N. So, we will be writing all the state name as V suffix N. Suppose A naught, A one, A two, and so on. So here we'll be writing all the state name. So next part is sigma. If you see here in DFA also sigma is there, whereas in grammar also there is sigma. So we'll be using same terminal for machine M as well as grammar G. Third part in grammar is production rule. There are two rules. Suppose if transition of present state comma present input equal to next state transition of present state comma present input is equal to next state which does not belongs to final state then we will be writing production as present state tends to A that is present input and next state and this A should belongs to sigma one more rule if transition of present state and present input equal to next state and which belongs to final state then we will be writing two productions present state tends to next present state tends to present input and next state and also we will write one more production present state tends to present input so if it belongs to final state we will be writing two production and if it is not belongs to final state we will be writing only one production so first production will be start symbol I am going to explain this with an example. Construct a regular grammar for the following DFA. So in this DFA, there are five tuples. So Q that is set of states, that is I have four states A, B, C and D. And sigma is equal to two input symbols are used A and B. Initial state is A. And final state is D. And transition. Now I want to convert this DFA to regular grammar. So grammar consists of four parts. So that is V suffix N. So the set of non-terminal. So, so I will be writing all the states over here. So that is A, B, C and D. And next is sigma. That is set of terminal that means small letter here we have used two input A and B now I want to find production rule so I will be writing present state A if input is B next state is A and A is not final state so I will be writing only one production B A if A is present state, small letter A present input, next state is B. So A is present state, small letter A present input, next state is B. And B is also non-final state. So I will be writing only one production. Now B is my present state, small letter B is my present input, next state is C. And C is not final state. So I will be writing only one production B C. 
now c c is my present state and b is my present input next state is d now this d is final state so i'll be writing one more production that is c tends to b c tends to b so i completed the productions next is start symbol so here see the first production so there are we, we got five productions among this this one is first production so before arrow non terminal a is used so start symbol is a so this is how we have to construct regular grammar from the from dfa and if it is nfa also we will be using the same procedure